Shalom, Yisrael, we're going to start by giving our praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, double honor to the elders of GMS and those two brothers that are doing the work in truth while sincerity. Um, this isn't really like a long one, so it's more of like an in case you didn't uh, see it in the news or anything. Um, basically, th th this martial law, uh, they're basically preparing for this martial law. Obama cites Australian gun confiscation program as example for US. Because, you know, if, if if the people don't have the guns, then when the martial law troops are out on the streets, they ain't going to have anyone to fight with. You know, you got all of this nonsense here at the side. Because, you know, it all keeps happening at schools, as in, like, so-called crazy people uh, keep going and killing people at, in, in these American schools. But, you know, it's likely all set up, just giving the people a reason, because that's with America... For them to get the public on side, they just have to kill a load of people. Uh, the Iraq war, they had to kill, what, 3,000, 4,000 people in them two buildings? Uh, Pearl Harbor, they knew about that. You know, so they have to have massacres coming on, people dying before the American public go, yeah, we should, we should, we should, we should agree with the government on this one. When really and truly, they don't really see the bigger picture. You know? Uh, and this is info wars. So basically, Obama said like the 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 American gun violence was off the charts. But then I I pull this quick bit here. This is um says Obama's claim of off the chart gun violence is in complete opposition to countless studies that have found a forty nine percent drop in gun homicides since ninety three. Uh, a similar study by the Bureau of Justice Statistics found that non fatal gun crimes have dropped nearly seventy percent over the same time period. Ironically, a CDC and prevention study, a CDC uh, study on gun violence ordered by the pre uh, president last year reached this, uh, reached similar conclusions. You know, and these days are uh, more more in this as well. But that was the point that I wanted to bring out. So, despite despite the statistics showing that everything is. It, it's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be which further goes to prove you know because obviously this is a conspiracy as just goes uh, basically puts the the uh, backing behind the conspiracy you know that they're basically trying to prepare for this martial law they don't really want any opposition uh this is uh the last thing i want to bring out uh, it says, Dear Concerned American, the great payback has begun and it's going to be ugly. The gun grabbers in Congress are paying back the anti-gun extremists who put them put them and Barack Obama in office. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You see, HR 45 is Barack Obama's uh, gun control package and it includes uh, the most vile anti-gun measures he supported over the years. HR 45 establishes a national gun registry database of every gun and its owner. So, you know, each time you hear about we we need a new database to do this, that and the other, just think about the chip because that eventually is what it's going to lead to. You know, because all of your information is going to be there. Soon enough, it will probably be a, uh, if you don't, if you don't have the chip, then you can't, you can't keep your gun sort of thing. So HR 45 establishes a national gun registry database of every gun and its owner for the whole country. Your private information and every gun you own will would be in that system. See, they're 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 consolidating all of the systems. Like um, in the UK, the 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 benefit system is basically being consolidated. So currently, you have several different ones, but basically, what they're trying to do is trying to bring together this one system that will would supposedly make the whole system better. But you know, a lot of IT problems as there usually is with, with, with any of this nonsense that they try to bring out in mass. But really and truly it's just all gonna end up in a chip. You know, they're getting you used to the idea of, of, of wireless this, wireless that, contactless this, that and the other. You know, so it's coming soon. Um for uh read that and since HR forty five dramatically increased the requirements for firearms purchases far beyond those ever proposed you just might find yourself incapable of buying a firearm once this bill takes effect uh the national association for gun rights has a survey ready for you to complete but i want you to understand just how dangerous this bill is before i give you the link hr 45 would establish a gun a national gun registry database which would increase requirements for firearms purchases 
uh, create a national firearms registry overseen by federal government, invoke draconian uh, penalties for bookkeeping errors related to the federal firearms database. Sarah Brady and the allies in Congress want to force you to, ha to take a written exam. Uh, HR 45 Obama's National Gun Registry and Citizen Disarmament Act is more than just a forced registration of all firearms in America. The bill also makes it increasingly difficult to, uh, difficult to buy a gun in the first place. Taken right out of Sarah Brady's Christmas wish list, HR 45 includes a laundry list of new restrictions on firearm purchases. Like I said, you know, just, just make it very hard for the people uh, who haven't got guns to get guns in time to prepare. Well, I say prepare. Obviously, the men of the Lord are basically trusting on the Lord. But, you know, these heathens ain't got the Lord in their mind. They're, they're, they, they, trust in their, they trust in their weaponry. Uh... In addition to outrageous national gun re registration requirements, HR 45 also requires you to pass written exam, release your medical records, um, observe a two-day waiting period before all firearms purchases, pay a gun tax of £25 or more on all firearms purchases. So, you know, make it harder for them and make a bit of money uh, in the process as well. Uh, HR 45 uh, bans all private firearms sell and maximises penalties for minor clerical errors in dealing with the National Gun Registry. Uh, bang. Yeah, just looking if there's any anything else of interest in here. Well, you know, it's, it's like... Well, these people genuinely believe that they still have some sort of, some sort of rights. I, I, I don't, I don't understand why they're not, they're not keeping up to step. Because they're talking about, oh, but I have the right to bear arms. Nah, it says Esau's kingdom, you ain't got the right to do anything but be a good slave. But even then they're trying to kill off most of these people. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's supposed to be just a quick one. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.